Welcome back to the Sons of Montezuma podcast. It's your host, Mateo San Diego. And yeah, I'm joined by your favorite neighborhood, Dan, Dirtball Dan. What's up, man? Welcome back. It's good to see you. What's going on, man? It's been a it's been a bit. It has, man. We missed you the other weekend. We were chilling with uh, Daniel Brunskill, man. The, f- the fun interview, right? Oh, man, that was great. These last two episodes have been our highest downloaded episodes. So a big thank you to everybody for checking those out. All of our listeners all across the world. I know I, I kind of brought that up last season about how we were getting, you know, listens in Europe and like Germany and all those different European countries. But it's it's pretty cool to see that, you know, you get different listeners from all over the world, knowing that there's fans and alumni all over. So I hope everybody's enjoying that. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support on that. Daniel came in and was just amazing, man. What a, what a great, great interview. Okay, making their Sons of Montezuma podcast debut. We got the Bash Brothers themselves. Welcome to the show, Caden and Cooper McDonald. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? Just hanging out. Glad you're having us on. Really appreciate that. Yeah, appreciate it. We've been we've been looking forward to it, man. I've I actually I do a lot of the recruiting, so I was following you guys even when you guys were playing high school. You know, we and I was awesome. always hoping Cooper would find his way back to San Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Excited to have you guys here. So the big news, obviously, with the McDonald brothers is that we have a agreement, an NIL agreement with the guys. And it's something that we uh, released a couple of weeks ago, but, you know, finally got you guys on air and just wanted to officially announce that the T-shirts will be for sale on sonsofmontezuma.com starting tomorrow, which will probably be today when you're listening to this, to all the listeners. And, uh, you know, hey, it's not going to match the boot barn, Caden. I hope you understand that. <laughs> Oh, I know. It's definitely going to be a little bit different flavor, but me and Cooper are really excited about teaming up with y'all and uh, getting those shirts made for us and stuff. And it's just something that we haven't got to experience yet is to be able to like look up in the stands and stuff and see people wearing like our numbers and our name on their back. Like it's going to be a really cool experience and then like an easy way for fans to be able to get their hands. Yeah, not too. just our family, like you were saying, just like the fans and like people we don't even know where ourselves can be like, oh, wow, that's pretty sweet. No, nah, man, that's awesome. It's a really good opportunity. Did you guys notice when the other players had the deals like last year, like uh, Greg Bell or someone like with it? Yeah. The biggest one was Matt Ariza. Everyone like, yeah, Ariza, yeah, that's crazy. so we'd see like people with his stuff on, which was really cool. Well, like I said, man, we actually sent a couple of his shirts out there in Europe somewhere. So you never know, like you <laughs> said, Coop. You never know where, where the shirts are going to uh, land you some new fans, some new supporters and, and send them out all over. Uh, I was telling Dan, we got some listeners from Europe as well on the podcast. So there's alumni all over the world. You guys coming in at really like different ends of, of your careers. Right. So, mm-hmm. Cooper, what, what class are you coming in as? I'm a sophomore right now. Okay. I told you, Dan, I told you. <laughs> they have you on the website. They have you as, as a junior on there. I'll be going into my junior year. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You have, you have three seasons. I have three left. seasons left. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. See. See. See, Matt. I was right. COVID, <laughs> COVID throws a loop. And yeah. All COVID. Like, people like, ask me, and sometimes I'm like, "Yeah." I'm, sometimes I'm just like, "Yeah." I don't. I'm not too sure. But soft. I'm a junior. No, I don't even know at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three seasons. Left. <laughs> you just have three seasons. That's the best yeah, way to yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. Are you Are you starting your master's program now, uh, Kaden? So I just graduated this uh, December of my bachelor's in kinesiology, and then now I'm starting my master's this semester in counseling and education. And I'll get that. I'll be graduated by next fall, like this coming up the year. It only takes one year to get done. So I'll have my master's by the time I leave college. See, I don't think enough like, like people outside of the, of, the, of the athletes kind of appreciate that you're going to have your master's when you leave. Mm-hmm. Saying, hey, that's awesome. And not, not a lot of people could do it and could do it that quickly as well. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's a COVID's a blessing, like that having that extra <laughs> season. It's really a blessing in disguise, like being able to have like another a whole other year to be able to like even like take advantage to get my masters and stuff. 
all for free, which is really, really nice. Yeah, man. No, definitely. So tell, so tell me, Cooper, because uh, I have two older brothers. And growing up in my household, it was like the tradition was we would be playing football in the living room, right? My two older brothers, it was like every single time my dad would be downstairs watching TV. And if I hit my head because they were tackling me, I hit my head on the coffee table. It was like, oh, no, shut up. You know, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Yeah. We've heard we've heard your brother on many interviews and he's always very, very well spoken. But what was it like growing up with Caden as your older brother, as football brothers? Yeah, it was interesting. I got a little story. So when we lived in uh, Arizona, I was just a, young, a little guy and he was I want to say he was in like elementary school or something and my dad he had us get the pads on and he had him get on his knees and he allowed me to hit him as hard as i wanted to <laughs> and he couldn't do anything about it so like i was good growing up with him it was fun we had a, made a lot of good memories and to be able to be here with him right now and kind of be living with him in the same house and play on the same field as him is going to be a blessing for sure i don't know Kate, yeah, exactly. Kaden didn't you look too it. happy about that story, man. I don't know. It was I I was in full tears and everything. And that's obviously it didn't scare me away from football at all or anything, but it was definitely a learning experience for, <laughs> for him. Do you guys do you guys have a lot of the, like the same playing style? I would yeah. say so. Coop's a little bigger than me, so he can handle the O line a little better, but I think we play like the same way, kind of sporadic all over the place, hundred percent effort all the time. It's kind of yeah, oh, we've been like, trained up since we were little, so yeah, just, we know one speed, and it's just full go, full go all the time. time. So I'd say it's the same. That's one thing on our YouTube channel. We try to do a lot of cut-ups of plays and film study with uh, a resident coach of ours. He used to be an Aztecs assistant back in the day, and mm -hmm. that was one of the first things he noticed about you, Caden, was that your motor, your energy, playing at that speed was just it jumped off the off the screen, right? So awesome. For both of you guys, you can both take your time answering this question. Coming into spring camp, we're just days away. Caden, you know, this is going to be your last spring. So kind of take us through what is spring camp like and, and what, do you, what kind of mentality do you come in with? Uh, I'm just really, just really excited to lead this team. And like now being a veteran, going to my sixth year, I was team captain last year. So coming in, I got high expectations for me to be a leader on the team. And I'm just really excited to like soak up this experience. Like really, like this is my last year for sure. Like really soak it up and enjoy like every bit of spring football and truly really get the, put the most effort I can get in it. So I get the most out of it, but uh, just be a better leader and just uh, get to see what my teammates are doing and stuff and just be a good teammate is what I'm really excited to do. And it's a, get to see the development, all the younger guys too coming up is going to be really awesome as well. When we interviewed Greg Bell last year, he was our first NIL recipient. And one of my, one of my questions to him about the team was who is a guy on the team that you look towards or that the team look towards as a leader and you guys respect for their work ethic. And it was kind of funny. He, was, he had to really think about it, but you know what? The, the name he said was Katie McDonald. That guy's the leader on the team right there. So very, very cool to hear that. And obviously having your brother come up on the team, you know, Cooper, what, what type of self-expectations or, or what kind of goals are you setting for yourself as you're coming into your first spring on the Mesa? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm the new guy around here, so I, I want to prove myself to the coaches. because I know just because I'm Kate's brother, I know nothing's going to be handed to me, and I want to be able to work for everything that, that will possibly come to me and, you know, just kind of doing my job and just playing the way I play and seeing what else can happen and just kind of following his footsteps and taking the reins from him when he leaves. Do, do you have a, a decent idea of the defense? Do you feel comfortable in it? Is it a defense that, that you like, or you, or do you have, do you know all the details about it at, at this point? Or? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning the playbook and everything right now, but this, just from looking at the playbook, this is a defense that like I would love to be a part of. And like, I will be a part of a sporadic defense and everyone just running around the field and hitting people. <laughs> yeah. So Okay, now that the schedule is out, and we're not going to look too far ahead into the season, but now that the schedule is out, we know where we're playing, when we're playing. Is there a game that you guys are circling on, on the list that you got it in red pen? Week one in Snapdragon Stadium. That is going <laughs> to be lights out. I know it's going to – like, I've been waiting. I haven't played in Carson for 
two years now, I'm ready to get our home fans back. And it's Arizona too. It's a home opener. Like that's, I know everyone is ready to get after it that week. That's, I think that's the week everyone's got circled is just, you know how we are. We always take everything one week at a time. And it just so happens to be, we're starting off home opener against Arizona. So that's the biggest one. Like I like playing the Pac-12 teams too, because I get so much hype and everything. And it's nice to be able to prove what we're about and that these group of five schools can get it done as well. Do you, do you, have you been down to the stadium site yet? Have you taken I drive look? past it almost every yeah. other day. So yeah. <clears throat> every time I look at it, I'm just breaking my neck, trying to stare at it the whole time on the highway or going to Costco. I drive by it and I slow down a little bit. So I can really <laughs> soak yeah. it. There was a, there was an electrician that kind of took, uh, took, uh, posted some photos of the locker room and it looked, it looked oh, awesome. I saw man. that. That was yeah. Sweet. <laughs> it looked awesome, man. I'm like, come on, give me some more. Give me some more. Like, yeah. yeah. Let's see all this stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome for sure. Well, we all share in your guys' excitement. We can't wait for this 2022 hundredth year of Aztecs football season to kick off. And even though we're only here at the spring, man, we can't wait for fall to get here soon enough. I know, I know we all enjoy our summers, but we're ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Heck we yeah. definitely are. I know Aztec football is ready to get rolling again. Put the pads back on and get the the hundred season. That's something also that's really really awesome about this year is a hundred years of San Diego State football. That's a an awesome achievement, I'll say. Uh, on that note, I'll let you guys go, man. Really, thank you guys coming and spending a few minutes just to introduce yourself to the listeners and and connect with all the Aztecs fans. Anything else you guys want to uh, say? You want to give out your? Uh, yeah, I see you're real active on TikTok, Caden. Yeah, you give me a follow on all the socials. You can get it from my Instagram though. It's just my first and last name, Caden McDonald. But if they want to follow me on my socials, they can. If not, I we'll still appreciate and love you. Yep. <laughs> Hey, make sure you guys are promoting once the shirt deal comes out, man. Like, oh, we, oh, we yeah. will promote the heck out of it. I'll do it. I'll be retweeting everything. I know yeah. tons of Montezuma will, and I want you guys to get have as many shirts out there as you can. Yeah, we'll for definitely sure. be blowing it up for sure. I, I know I've already got a few people that want shirts. They've been asking me, like, when the heck are the shirts coming out? We're ready <laughs> to get them. We want to have them by the spring game, so we're ready to get after it. We'll definitely be pushing it out all over the place. And we really do appreciate you guys doing what you do for us. Yeah, appreciate it. I'll tell you what, I'll be I'll be one of the first buyers. So looking forward Thank to yeah. it. I'll get we love the sound back. of that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, fellas, you enjoy your evening, man. Thank you. Awesome. Right, you appreciate it. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>